Hello everyone, uh, this is Prashant. Welcome to our second uh, series. So this series we are going to study about REST API testing. In this we are going to study about a manual testing as well as automation testing. In the language we are selecting Python. Uh, in Python we are selecting a request. Request is the library to do a API automation testing using a PyTest framework. And we parallelly we are going to do the manual as well in the Postman tool as well as the Swagger tool. So this entire is going to be 10 days course, like 10 days. 10 minutes per day that's it so even though you don't know you never done AP testing don't worry we are going to do this course in a 10 days okay so first of all we are going to see what is an API generally how it works this introduction class so generally the API is a two phase one is client whom are watching this YouTube you are sitting in a YouTube channel right then in front of this laptop or mobile you are a client suppose you are requesting in a YouTube how to take an interview uh, I need a one uh, API testing uh, like launch course something so you are giving a request to the youtube server so you do to take your request and it will process and it will give you a response so this is the intermediate who is the guy so the api is the intermediate guy between you like client and the server so in this we have a get post put delete those things you will see in day to day activity in our coming classes but basically this is an api api is a application program interface between client on the server so in the through this everything is going to be http transfer okay what is http hypertext transfer protocol in this we are going to transfer the data in the request and response and uh, previously we have xml but in the my knowledge currently everyone is in json so all the data is in the form of json it will go off right now i am going to show the see the li like live on application how api is working okay so uh, most of the guys you know this is a red bus so red bus is a bus booking app basically okay so this is their website official website so in this official website so i'm right clicking here i'm clicking on the inspect generally former studied selenium you guys run it always go to inspect but you guys always in elements but for api we need to focus on the network tab so this is a network tab in the back end so this is a you want to click on the fetch hr this will take the only the api calls not the images or anything okay so right now it's empty right so I'm going to do some action. What is the action? Generally what we'll do, we, we select the area. Like I'm selecting a Chennai and I'm selecting a to Bangalore. Okay. Then I'm selecting a date. So what are the information I'm giving you? I'm giving a Chennai, Bangalore and the date, right? So when I click on the search button, so this page got loading and in the entire page, we're getting the list of items. Okay. How it is coming? Who is giving? So if you see this, there are so many AP call generated. If we see the search results AP call, okay, I'm clicking on that one. So it will open headers, payload, preview, response, everything. You don't need to worry. I will tell you in each classes. But this is a header. So header is the what is going on. So this is a basically the URL. It is went off. The request type is post method. This is a post method. And it is a replied with the status code of what? 200 so we will learn each status codes of meanings so 200 success okay so what is the payload the payload is what the client is given to us so what we give we give a source as a chennai destination as a bangalore and the date of journey is what 28th web okay so this is the uh, get payload like request payload we give to the server the server is giving the response to us okay Th totally 92 results so if you want to see each results click on a preview in the preview you see this the invoke so these are the information it's given to us okay so this entire search will see this is a first is the car which bus services where it's starting where it's ending those things and i open the first result of an array so this is the intercity smart bus so this is the bus service is the first list and where it is starting point ending point what are the prices suppose see this this is a minimum price is what 848 okay so if you search in this this is the minimum price is what 848 and the maximum price is see this 1457 so this is thing if we see here the four rating is 4.7 and seven, seven four, like how many people give a like 766 if we scroll and see means see this this is the rating in this rating is 4.57 is coming and the overall count is 65 so who is give this so generally you guys as a tester 
we do testing but basically in development front end development and back end development so this api is developed by the back end developers so they transfer the they get the request and give the response to the front end developer so front end developer will take this response from the back end developer and he will show in a ui manner so to us to view it okay so generally customers don't know how what is back end but as if, uh, there is a two things front end developer and back end developer so they will do this the work so what is a tester's work so as a tester we need to make sure end to end function that means front end to back end is working fine okay so either how it is coming from the front end is giving the request and what is the back end is giving a response when the back end giving the response how the front end is showing it so this is we called as what end to end testing okay so in the entire series we are going to really learn this only like how to create a post request get request put request delete request and we'll do uh, we learn basic coding problems and if you guys know the python already i took the python basic courses in our pre previous session in the say, python cell name series if you want to learn on python basics just go through the videos and get the basic python knowledge in this we are going to see how simply we can create each ap calls and how in postman how i uh, create a new request and do a testing in swagger how i will uh, run a uh, new apis and get the response and what are the testing we need to do in api testing okay so if you don't know what is api testing no worries this course is completely will scratch will go from scratch to the end okay so thanks for joining in so if you like the video please like and subscribe and so we'll do uh, we'll see in next classes thanks for joining in